Hello, my name is Bojan Savek here at Mercedes-Benz of Scottsdale, and I'm here to introduce you and talk to you about the 2024 Mercedes-Benz AMG GT63. This is exciting car. This is exciting day for us. We just got the vehicle. So I'm using this opportunity while it is still here on the showroom floor to tell you more about it. And um, let's get into it. So the 2024, the GT is back. Let's compare it a little bit with the previous GT. Uh, here's the sum of the stats. This one is a seven inches longer, three inches taller than its predecessor. It's one inch narrower but it's still wider than the current SL, and the vehicle has about the three inches more in the wheel space. So comparison to our previous. It is powered with the same motor that we had before, four liter V8 hot V turbos, both turbos inside of the V8 that we have producing 577 horsepower, 590 pound-feet of torque. Power is distributed uh, versus our without the nine speed MCT multi-clutch transmission, speed shift transmission made by Mercedes-Benz. Um, to the rear wheels, this is a all wheel drive, so the power will go for Medic Plus, the dimension net wheel, so that will prepare your car. Zero to 60, it's about 3.1 seconds. And for those of you that can push this car all the way to the edge, this car will be electronically limited at 196 miles per hour. Told you this is exciting, 196 miles per hour. Yes, this car will go. So, the other things uh, that are necessary. Well, obviously for some of you lovers of the GT that are really liked it, you can see that this front end design now really leans into our Black Series, right? Black Series, it's a pride and joy of the AMG, right? So besides the AMG one, kind of a special car, I always leave that a um, little bit different. So uh, let's go into the design and the similarities. Some of you comparing this with the SL, at least I had a lot of questions. So the headlights and the front end are really different than the SL if you compare it. Three pieces right here. This is a digital light. Yes, it can do some of those cool tricks and performances and designs and everything else, but nonetheless gives you the best illumination that the Mercedes-Benz could offer at this point. So again, the really, really wide of the front grille, AMG specific grille, uh, lower apron, also a huge hood, as you can see. Um, just wanted to again, because a lot of you compare this with our current SL, as far as on the body of the vehicle, the only parts that are the same with the SL is the door. <laughs> Everything else is different. So this particular body, it's really ingenious combination of aluminum, steel, magnesium, and uh, different components of the fiber that will maximize the rigidity of this frame. Because again, this is our sports car, and it will also achieve the possible, best possible lightness of the car. So this car tops out with everything about 4,300 pounds. Again, back to our engine, four liter V8 M177 code, distribute the power versus the all wheel drive for Medic Plus on this one. What's new? Well, um, we also have the rear wheel steering. We had that uh, before also on our GT. It's of course back on the, this one. Some of the things specifically about this car, it's finished in the Alpine gray, as you can see with the red interior. As uh, far as on the wheels, we have the Ford wheels, in this case, standard uh, yellow calipers. This is the AMG 63 models. 55 is going to look very, very similar. It's going to have a little bit less power, 469, 516 pound-feet of torque. But um, let's move on to the inside. Let me tell you more about this exciting vehicle. Welcome to the in beautiful, beautiful interior of the AMG GT 63 for the 2024. 
So this is going to be very similar to the SL that we already have far as on the interior. Of course, AMG steering wheel, flat bottom steering wheel with the AMG drive buttons on the side that will give you a control for the Comfort Sport, Sport Plus, as you can hear, and the racetrack and the race start. You can control also the rear spoiler and also the sound of the exhaust. Everything controlled from the steering wheel. So this vehicle is finished obviously at the two-tone, red and black. Burmester sound system that's going to be standard heated ventilated seats. Of course, you can move the passenger seat from this position. Again, I'm sure that you were expecting that. Also, that we have the artificial intelligence, hey Mercedes, where the system is going to listen to your command. So you can say from it's too hot in the car, it's too cold in the car, um, turn on the heated seats, change the music, and so forth. Ambient lighting, of course, that's now standard that's going to be in the car. You do have the cap holders in the front, wireless charging for the phone, Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, yes, that comes standard in the car. Here is the more storage space, USB-C, that are right here in the middle. I'm six foot even, far as on the height, and I definitely could not drive from this position in the car. So it can fit a taller people than its predecessor that I think and hope that's a benefit to all of us. Of course, uh, Alcantara that's going to be on the roof. Just want to mention again, this is the hand-built motor by the AMG. It's handcrafted, so if you have the signature of the person that designed this motor for the first thousand miles, you shouldn't go over uh, 80 miles an hour and shouldn't go over 4,500 RPMs. Basically, in short, no flooring of this car might be hard to resist, but uh, those are the guidelines from the AMG. Uh, again, my name is Bojan Savic here at Mercedes-Benz of Scottsdale. I will show you how much space do you have in the trunk. Yes, it can definitely fit your gold clubs and much of the other luggage. So uh, follow me in the back and uh, we'll go from there. Welcome to the rear part of this beautiful 2024 Mercedes AMG GT63. Um, it is definitely, I welcome you to come in here and see it in person. It's definitely beautiful finish on the rear part of the vehicle. One of the nice touches from the AMG is these stay lights. They are actually the 3D. So really, really nice touch. Of course, we have the US specific two and a half miles an hour speed sensitive parts of the bumper. Quad exhaust rectangle that it comes with a 63. I want to show you how much space do you have open in the trunk, the boot. So, of course, opening is just with the foot. And just to let you know, the vehicle is optional that you can have the two more seating in the back. So it will be a four passenger seating, even though the rear seats are going to be very, very small or designed for a children. But I was able to sit in the back of the one about a year ago. We had the introduction. Uh, so. Uh, you can fold down also down so it will give you the more the rear compartment when it comes to the four seats so it can accommodate more luggage or if you want to bring your set of the golf clubs if they would not fill here even though this is pretty wide and it has a room for the driver but definitely we can measure that. You have the rear cover right here also can come so this part it can come completely out but it will um, allow you for your everyday use for the everyday driving so you can put the some of the items stuff that you have in here and again the, when you spec it with the four doors with the four seats you can fold down the rear seat so you can have a very generous room in the back i will close the trunk of this car and thank you for watching my video. My name is again Bojan Savic, Mercedes-Benz of Scottsdale, 2024 AMG GT63. Please contact me and I would love to tell you more about a vehicle. Maybe take it for a test drive and we can go from there. Thanks. Yeah.